Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Happy New Year's and hopefully everyone's had a good New Year's. And yeah, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at a makeshift charger that I made. So this is a 240 volt uh, PWM charger. Usually this goes from a solar panel to um, the bet off to this to the batteries but what we've done is we've actually um these a 240 volt ac dc ac oh dc ac dc they call it uh usually laptops have got these too they're the power boxes so uh, uh, i actually got this one from one of my old ts fridges which is sitting two of them are sitting right in front of me good old old ts fridges um, and what I've done is I took the positive and negative from this charger and just put the positive and negative and I actually cut the original fitting off so let me show you the original charger so this is because since I've got two of them this is what the original charger looks like on its own this is for the second Altius so what I'm going to do is leave this one as the actual Altius thing so in case I need to run one of these off, and off of the generator um, to cool it down or at least have one of these so this was the original fitting that was on it so all I've done is cut that off so I've cut it um, and just to prove that I have cut it I actually got the fitting to that one here so this is the fitting to the one I just I cut and then attached to this charger so as you can see these have been severed positive and negative I just found the port, which one's a positive and which one's a negative, and just fed it into this charge controller here. So now, um, this PW, old PWM charge controller um, I've done on one of my past tutorials is now a battery charger. So now, how this is going to work is, um, it'll read the actual voltage when it's off. Uh, once this is on, because I've sort of been testing it for the past hour, um, once this is on, what it's going to do is it's going to um, go straight to float voltage even though it'll be pushing current through so it'll go straight to 13.8 and it'll it'll um, it'll still charge in float mode even though it's not floating because um, you know we've got instant power here it's not like how a solar panel is how power gradually comes has a peak time and then gradually goes away again as the day ends so this is connected directly to that um, the reason why I made this is because um, I done a tutorial my last tutorial was on a inverter generator so the point of making this is so I could charge my solar off the inverted generator but at the moment I have this hooked up to the old generator which I'm going to fire up in a minute and we are going to see um yeah so let's just verify with this Altius fridge so this Altius fridge is connected to so this is the battery we're actually going to be charging here is this battery this is the one that um i've actually ruggedly done it i haven't actually put the wires on alligator clips so I've just taken the existing alligator clips and used uh the brown and uh, as a positive and the green as a negative with an old extension wire which I've cut up in the past tutorials for various other projects like charging the main or the main battery um, same thing so uh, what we're going to do is we'll turn this because the compressor is running turn it off and turn it on and we should get an accurate reading what the battery is so this is reading 2.2 okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start the generator and we're going to see what we get so when I had the first test I had it running on this generator but what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate charging both batteries at once because in my past tutorial I did a tutorial on this generator um, and I demonstrated how the 12 volt DC out on this generator charges the main battery and how it's rigged it up so it's still the same and that hasn't changed but now what we've done is we've just added a new um, AC to DC back to AC again and to DC because that's how those boxes work so I'm just going to fire this up 
um, I can't electric start this one at this current time because I broke the key so we've only got pull start action only um, so yeah so I'm gonna start this up right now okay hang on. I'll just hold my phone so I don't drop it Now, if we come back to our charge controller, we should be reading the float voltage. Sort of hard to focus, but it is. Usually 30.8 it reads. Yep, so that charger is working. Um, and just to prove that we're getting more voltage, let's turn. Oh, let's turn this off again. Oh, why are we? Sorry, guys. For some reason this played up on me. It's supposed to be minus nine. Okay, so all I'm going to do, turn this off again. Turn it back on. We should get an accurate reading of the battery. See? Now the voltage is rising, so now we know that the charger is definitely working. So the reason why I put a charge controller in between this is because for regulation, so it doesn't overcharge the battery. Don't uh, mind about that, the compressor has just kicked in. But yeah, that's why um, i done that. So um, if the batteries are full, that means that the, um, uh, the charge controller is just going to go on true float mode and just keep the voltage there rather than um, overcharging the battery. Um, I do admit, because I've only had um, had this charger rigged up for, I just made it before actually, so I've only had this constructed for like the past two hours. I ran it for about an hour and even though it works marvelously, um, one thing I noticed was it, that box heats up really well. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to run it for ex uh, probably like an hour max maybe two um, I wouldn't run it full time on this generator that I'm running it on I'd actually run it more on the other one only because it's got less running time in case I do fall asleep with it on but um, yeah I just thought I would demonstrate a homemade 12 volt charger I made out of a PWM's um, charge controller and um, a just a charger from one of my fridges so yeah um, hopefully you learnt something new and uh, gives you ideas uh, how to do things and how simple it is really when you think about it it's not difficult but until next time have a good day and hopefully you enjoyed that and until next time cha cha